Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Delta. What? We failed to finish the Chad campaign. In this episode, we're going to finish. Oh, wait, hold on. Bravo, prepare to move in. Let's go back to the. Yeah. Go. Worst case scenario, Bravo, it doesn't work. To move in. Keep that hostage whoa, alive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alpha team, clear the that extraction weird. point. Whoa, I'm having a little bit of lag here. That's interesting. I shouldn't be having lag. I'm wondering if the laws are a good idea. Okay, let's look through binoculars. Okay, we got a couple of... All right, let's uh... Okay, so he's down. He's down. He's down. Can I hit him? How good of a shot am I? Got him. There is a guy in there, but I don't see him yet. Oh, I'm a great shot. Oh, not as great of a shot. There we go. Not gonna get him yet. Oh. Got him. Got him. Look at me go, this is great. Okay, so... Nothing, nothing as of yet. No problems as of yet, let me put it that way. I know there's somebody there. But I do not see him yet. Got him. I see you. We good? I think we're good. Let's move up. Oh. I see. We good? Oh. Uh. All right. I think we're good. I think. Okay, so he's running off into the sunset. I'm assuming I'll see him relatively soon. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know where he went. I'm just going to move up. See what I can handle. I mean, there's a lot of guys over there. So I need to conserve ammo unless I absolutely have to use what I got. Is that 
a person like right there? I feel like it is. <laughs> ah, boy, I don't like that. Because I... You know what? I've got grenades. And I think... I don't know if they're delayed grenades or if they're... It says delay, but I don't know if they actually are. We'll find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine enemies left. I as long as I hit every shot, I should be good. Okay, well, that was easy. Uh, there's another lovely gentleman right there. Okay, so he's right there. Anybody around here that I need to be concerned about? Doesn't look like it. So far, so good, even. Okay, so there's one more guy over there. No. Over there. Aha! Okay, so everybody in the perimeter is taken care of, except for a singular guy in there. So... In that case... Oh shit. Okay, moving forward. He's either going to come from the left or the right. Damn it. <laughs> Support. All right, all right. So I definitely think that this is the best option. Lol's still the best option. So we're gonna try that again because I have a lot more Bravo, shots. Prepare to move in. Keep that hostage alive. A lot Alpha more team, shots, actually. Clear the extraction point. Roger, King Six. If I would have stuck with the uh, extra ammo, it would have been fine. But there's... I need as many shots as possible for this one. Okay, excuse me? Okay. Anyway. Ooh, I'm a good shot. Come on, peek your head out. Any moment now. You will eventually. Just like that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that guy. Gosh, I am a good shot. A little bit too, a little bit too high. There we go. I love how I go. Oh, I'm such a good shot, and then miss like five shots. But with that being said, not every sniper hits their targets on the first shot. Oh, 
Oh gosh. I'm gonna move. I don't know where the shots are coming from, but they are in fact coming. I see. We good? All right. Oh, I see him. Hearing shots? It sounds like they're coming from the right. Oh, there's shots coming from way the fuck over there. You know what? I'm just gonna run for it. What's the worst that could happen? I've already died multiple times. <laughs> I have to say, though, these, like, final missions to the campaigns are actually really, really cool and intense. I know that I've died a lot in these, but they are really fun. Just wish I knew where these guys were shooting from. Okay, so I'm seeing one of them. Maybe. As far as I know, they're not... They're, sh they're all shooting at me. So it's like, what are you guys doing? Let's do this. Okay, so I did, I did kill one of them. Okay, let's uh, become very familiar with uh, the ground here. Okay. Hold on, let me make sure that if I throw this, it's not going to... Ah, it was worth a shot. Okay, so now I got people help. Alpha to Bravo, we're in position. Ready to clear the extraction route. Let's 
run down. Shit, 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 shit. So he's dead. Get me out of here! That's the plan. Um. Uh. How do I do that? <laughs> Wait. If I press E, is it E? No. I don't want to use my knife on him on the off chance that like that kills him. Uh Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, never mind. There he goes. Just a delayed reaction. That makes sense. Where'd he go? Did he get in the truck? Oh, he's going this way. Alpha, can you see the hostage? Yep. Hostage is running! Moving west for extraction! Bravo, cover him! Alright. So, Alpha team and Bravo team have got this guy going. You good there, buddy? Okay, he's just being weird, I guess. We have a very short extraction. This is Black Widow, approaching the pickup point. I'm gonna let him go first, just so I can have some sort of rear security. Okay, I think we're good. Heck yes, we did it. 36 kills. Bravo team has successfully rescued the hostage. Ah, the assault on the base not only successfully liberated the hostage, but also eliminated the last of the CNLF forces. Chad armed forces have moved onto that base and taken all remaining CNLF personnel into custody. Congratulations on a job well done, Bravo team. We did it. All right. Well, in the next episode, we are going to start the Indonesia campaign. Uh, I don't know what's going to be different. So far, a lot of these missions seem to have a general structure. You know, you have one mission where it's like eliminate a base full of enemies, gather a code book, rescue a hostage, destroy something. Uh, and I do like the variation. I mean, with the way this game is at the moment, it is kind of a basic, you know, just kill everything and leave. But at the same time, I guess you could technically... I wonder, maybe I'll go back later and see if I can do that previous Chad mission where it was just destroy the, uh, the communications array. In theory, if I have the laws, I should just be able to get the dish and the... Uh, and the... Uh, tower. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. I'm curious now. Uh, 
just out of sheer curiosity. All right. Oh, I did it again. Start. Let's let's try it out. All right. So it's over this way. We're going to we're going to move through this quickly cuz we already know what we're trying to do. But yeah, in theory, shouldn't I just be able to, you know, blow it up at range? Now, granted, this wouldn't work in an actual scenario, but if it does, how, how funny would that be? Okay, moving forward. Now it sounds like the truck is over there. That's very interesting. It seems to change positions. Anyway. Alrighty, so... If it hits... Okay, so we definitely can hit it. Antenna is down. <laughs> now, what happens if I get the Bravo, your target is the dish. Take out the dish. And what happens if I find the dish? Cuz I can't see it from here. Yeah, I have to go around which is a very interesting thought process. Uh, so, it's cool that you can do that. Delta Force 2 definitely has some more variation in what you can do. Um, but that's also just a thing of, like, a lot of times older, like, 90s games and early 2000s games kind of had this situation of we're going to build the framework and then expand upon it in sequels, which that's every game, but it's very much pronounced in the older games. Think about Assassin's Creed 1 to Assassin's Creed 2. Playing both side by side, uh, you can see the similarities, but Assassin's Creed 2 offers more content and general playability, right? Not shaming Assassin's Creed 1 at all. I think it's a fantastic game. I just... You, I don't think it can be argued that there's less content in Assassin's Creed 2. The same is true for Delta Force 2. It's one of those situations where mission variety is enhanced, you've got more gear, you've got... I won't say better graphics, because you don't. You don't have better graphics. But in addition to the two campaigns that you have, which are much longer, if I'm not mistaken, there are also quick missions, uh, which are just one-offs that you can do um, and each one is vastly different. Sometimes you'll have one. There are a bunch of them that are just like eliminate everybody at the compound. But the very first quick mission is like destroy a bunch of things. And you can do it however you want. Um, the one after that is like a hostage rescue mission. And then a couple after that is to, you know, infiltrate a base and retrieve a code book. Or is it a laptop? I don't remember. Retrieve something, <laughs> and it's it's a lot of it's a lot of coolness. But we'll talk about Delta Force Two when I get to it. Um, this game's a lot of fun, uh, and I really do enjoy playing it. So I'm hoping that you guys have been enjoying it as well. And let me know down in the comments what do you think of the tactical gameplay. I could just run and gun through in certain situations, but there are some moments where some of these enemies have really tight response time which again might be different in delta force 2 because i remember delta force 2 being a little bit easier in certain situations but that could just be me being stupid as i said this game's a blast to play and i've been having nothing but fun with it so without further ado i hope you guys all enjoyed if you want to see more, please be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and it means I get to keep making more awesome content for you guys. It also means that uh, you get to check out my other awesome series. I've got currently, <coughs> coming out right now, I've got Spider-Man 2, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 2, 
uh, as well as uh, Five Nights at Candies with my mom. Uh, I think that she's, I think that she's expressed interest in playing the other two games as well. Um, granted, I played them; she just watched. But I think she's interested in the series. Um, and a lot of times, I break away from my standard schedule and I actually play kind of one-off games, or I do kind of random stuff. Uh, for Halloween of 2023, last year, uh, I actually, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I actually played uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, The Legend of Pirates Online uh, with my little brother. We had a blast, and I'm actually trying to plan something else out with them at the moment, but that's still in the works. <laughs> um, but a lot of times I do stuff like that. I usually do like a Halloween special. Um, I haven't, as of recording this, I haven't done it, but I'm looking into getting more VR stuff out, which is always exciting. A lot of cool stuff coming. And I, and like I said, I'm very excited to really get into it. But if you want to see even more stuff, make sure to check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash whyatdude11. Again, as of recording this, I am playing through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, uh, No Man's Sky in VR, and I'm playing various different uh, VR games as kind of like a random one-off uh, on Saturdays. And uh, with Payday 3 having come out and the servers being back online, I have been playing the crap out of that. Uh, so if you guys want to see any of that, or if you want to join in and play some Payday, or whatever I happen to be playing, Hop on in. I always enjoy meeting you, and I always enjoy being able to game. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else? Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else at this exact moment in time. There's a lot of cool stuff coming, and I'm really looking forward to doing it with you guys. So, catch you next time, and I hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you watch this. Mm, bye, guys.